The film opens with a little boy named Billy Wennan. He is a rich kid who is neglected by his father. Here we see Billy writing a letter to Santa Claus. After writing the letter, Billy goes to his school to participate in a science Olympiad. On the other hand, we also see a man named Chris Kringle, who is practicing shooting to defend himself. He is a frustrated Santa Claus who is fed up with the world that has become a place that cannot be controlled. We also see a woman named Ruth Kringle, who is his wife. Chris and Ruth run a Christmas gift workshop in an old barn near the town of North Peak, Alaska. The scene switches to a man who is selling his toys to a man named Jonathan Miller. Jonathan Miller is a hitman who works in a toy store. He sells his baseball bat to Miller to get money for his daughter who wants to join a space competition. Back to Billy, who is presenting his work to everyone. He gets second place in the competition. But Billy is disappointed with the prize he received because he had won first place four times in a row before, which is shown by the shirt he wears. Billy orders his personal driver to hire a hitman to take revenge on Christine, the woman who won first place. When he gets home, Billy steals his grandmother's checkbook secretly, which he will use to pay the hitman. The hitman comes to Billy's house, and it turns out to be Miller. Billy threatens Christine to tell the teacher that she cheated in the competition and does not deserve to win. Then the scene switches to Chris, who has a guest at his house. They are a liaison agent and Captain Jacobs. The liaison agent threatens Chris to withhold the government subsidy for the Christmas gifts that Chris makes. Previously, Chris was disappointed by many children who were naughty. To prevent the government subsidy from being withheld, Captain Jacobs proposes a contract to Chris. It is to work on producing jet fighters for the U.S. military. Then Miller drives Christine home and threatens her not to tell anyone about what happened, or her parents and dog will die. Chris goes to do his job as Santa Claus to deliver Christmas gifts to the children of the United States. Meanwhile, Billy prepares bread and a glass of milk for Santa Claus who will come. After doing his job, Chris returns home with a gunshot wound in his stomach. The next day, Billy saw that his bread and milk had been eaten at the table. He also received a Christmas gift from Santa Claus. He opened the gift eagerly, but he only got a lump of coal. He was very disappointed with Santa and swore to take revenge. He called Miller and ordered him to kill Santa. At first, Miller was surprised by the request because finding Santa was not very easy. Miller accepted the job because he had a personal grudge against Santa, who gave him the same gift as Billy when he was a child. Miller started looking for information about Santa's whereabouts, but he couldn't find anything. He also called the information center, but they couldn't tell him anything about Santa. While searching for information about Santa, Miller saw a video of Santa holding a letter. Miller got an idea and went to meet a postal worker who was stopping by the roadside. Miller asked him about the letters that were sent to Santa, but the worker couldn't tell him anything. The worker only told him about the postal stop in his area. After getting the information, Miller shot the worker dead. Then Miller went to the address, pretending to be a postal worker. When he got there, he met Wayland, the local postmaster, and asked him for the address of the next postal stop. Miller went back to prepare his weapons for killing Santa. Meanwhile, Chris gathered all his workshop workers to announce something. Chris told them that their subsidies were withheld by the government. If they wanted to get them back, they had to work to produce military fighter jets. They reluctantly agreed to do it. Then Captain Jacobs gave them some rules for their work. The first one was to do a fingerprint check that would give them access cards to enter the workplace. The second one was to enter and exit through the south side door. And the third one was to remove the bells from their uniforms. The next day, Miller went to Canada for the last postal stop. On the way, he stopped and met a child who was playing with a toy plane. Miller approached him and bought his toy plane. Miller bought the toy because he liked to collect toys from Santa's gifts. Then Miller continued his journey until he stopped in front of the last postal stop. He entered the place and pretended to be a close friend of Chris to ask about Chris's location. But the postal guard couldn't tell him anything about Santa. Miller left the place and decided to wait for Chris's arrival. The next day, Chris came to the box to pick up letters from children from all over the world. Miller, who was waiting outside the post office, saw Chris's arrival and immediately pulled out his gun. Unfortunately, Chris was covered by a truck and Miller failed to shoot him. Then Miller chased Chris and followed him to the workshop. When he got there, he couldn't enter the place because of the tight military security. Miller decided to go back to his car and prepare his weapons to fight the military guards. 
Meanwhile, Billy received a letter that contained Christine's confession of cheating in the science competition and also getting the first place medal. Then Miller sneaked into the workshop and killed all the military guards. Miller entered and shot all of Chris's workers. Then one of Chris's workers named Elf Seven immediately called Chris and said that there had been a shooting at their workshop by an unknown person. Then Chris came right away. While some of the workers managed to save themselves, Chris came out of his house and faced Miller. Miller expressed his disappointment with the two Christmas gifts that Chris gave him when he was young. Then they had a shootout. Miller was shot by Chris and wounded. Chris ran towards Miller and took a wooden stick to kill him, but Chris was stabbed by Miller's knife. Miller then took his gun and shot Chris in the eye. Then Ruth came out of her house and shot Miller. But unfortunately, Miller did not die. Miller shot Ruth and Ruth went back into the house. Then Miller went inside to look for Ruth, but Ruth was behind him. Ruth pulled out her gun and shot Miller dead. Then Ruth approached Chris and managed to heal Chris from his wounds. Then Elf Seven approached Miller's body and took the book that Miller always carried. That night Ruth and Chris came to see Billy and warned him that from now on, he should be proactive for himself and other children in the distribution of Christmas gifts. After that, Ruth, Chris, and all their workers started to rebuild their workshop with new confidence. And the movie ends. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Because by subscribing, you have supported me to make better videos. See you in the next video. Two.